Kill it. I'm just saying. One day at a time. BBW. <laughs> Good day, people. Let's show you how to party the What? Yes, sir. Let's show you how to party the Let's go. Go time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to party the night. Let's show you how to party the night. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Black don't crack, baby. All right, so I'm going to jump a couple questions. All right, so how does a single mother make a man feel comfortable about her not going back to her child's father? If they were never with the father to begin with. So why the fuck y'all got kids? We were intimate together. We were just friends, and we had casual sex. I got pregnant. And when I had my, when I decided that I was going to keep my daughter, I said, I'm like, we've been friends. Let's just stay friends. I don't want to be with you. Let's just be great parents. And that's it. So there's nothing to go back to. There's nothing, there's nothing to go back to. Do I believe in it? That's a whole different cut topic. No, I'm saying, why why would you you agree to bring a child to the world with someone who wasn't a partner of yours? You were just having Because we were, we were great, good friends. Let's uh, put it that way. I've known him for years. Okay. And you you believe that he would be a good parent? A decent one. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so, so y'all got kids together. So moving forward with guys that you would date mm-hmm. so you would do what in order to, to to assure the person that you wouldn't you know you would just tell them like just tell them what we the situation is we, we were never together it was just someone that we were intimate and me getting pregnant I decided to bring this life into the world and we had a discussion because I wasn't gonna just say oh this is what I'm doing you know I want to sit down with him because sometimes there's women that get pregnant like oh well we have to be together mm-hmm. no we don't why can't we just be great parents and be friends? <clears throat> Co-parenting. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And but like any w- relationship, even if you weren't just you know that mm-hmm. kind of situation, like if the relationship is over, like yes, there's going to be a co-parenting aspect, but you should believe that just because I had a baby with that person doesn't even mean I have to fuck them anymore. Yeah, like I'd be no, with them indeed. if I wanted to fuck them. Yeah. Still, like that's true the indeed. whole thing. Like, and it works both ways. Like that's the whole thing. Like. That's why I haven't let you met, meet my kids because I don't know if you're really here for me, and if you're not oh, you're trusting not me. me. <laughs> no, 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 oh, right. That was directed that at you. <laughs> that felt like a shot right there. That shit felt like a shot. That's why I haven't let you meet my kids. <laughs> no, no. Wait a minute. Not what did you. I do? I didn't even know I was a part. But that's of That's what I'm saying. That okay. person right. the same way. Like, you, you, if you have that mistrust in me, we're obviously not in a level yeah. that we should be discussing meeting my kids because. There shouldn't be mistrust in a relationship. If I tell you my relationship with my ex is over, that's it. I'm done with it. I've moved on. I don't. Have okay. Y'all, have I, do y'all? Watch, I can understand it. I feel that. Do y'all watch World Star on a daily basis? Yeah, but see, no. that's like you're judging like yeah. the ghettoest of people. No, 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 no. no. I'll like, put it in a different situation because I know what I know what I know what what what, what Melissa is talking about. Have you been on Facebook but lately? But let's say this communication. When it's real not, out here. As Melissa's saying, when it's not a good situation with the baby's father, where you know what I'm saying, hey, he doesn't do anything. That's easy you for know, you. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's easy for you. But how about situations where the father is involved? The father's That's involved with the child, yeah. but no, not only that, but the father's involved with the child and the father talks to you or the father has conversations with you that kind of like makes, because what happens is when the, when, when the, the, the dad is involved, yes, the, the, the mother, the child, the child, and then the new guy that's in there. Yeah. The father really kind of makes decisions that in ultimately results in what the new guy has to deal with in a way. Yeah, and he has right? to accept that. So how do you how do yeah. you reassure, how do you like make that person comfortable when you guys do have like dialogue when you know well, you, you listen to, to him or sometimes like, hey, you know what? My and my baby father you care said about his feelings. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your baby daddy says, I don't want I don't want my kid around that. 
friendship to be productive co-parents. There's a level of like you don't yeah. have to be best friends, but you have to be able to communicate. Yeah. You well, have to that's be the able biggest thing is communication. Put aside all your feelings about who you're sleeping with, who I'm sleeping with. None of that is relevant. We're just talking about what's in our child's best interest. Yeah. So if you were and, dating somebody that you felt like was a winner, and your baby daddy was like, "I don't want my son around that motherfucker." How would you he would it? have to have a reason. What was your reason? Because yeah. just because you don't like how he looks. What What's the reason? Because you need because he's at... another nigga, and I don't want he my just son don't like another nigga. Yeah, he just don't like that's him. What it is? But no, that's not a reason. That's not a valid reason. No. Like if you're worried and you're actually worried about your child's best interest, and I'm telling you, I vetted this person. They're a good person. I chose to introduce them, and it's probably a conversation that you have with your child's father yeah. before you go and introduce your like I'm just letting you know I'm gonna introduce my man there you know he's coming to the soccer game or whatever just in case the kid says something to you like that's the kind of communication you should have would you have the but same you would you trust. have the same response if he had another woman yes yeah yeah because okay. I'm not like yeah. if our relationship ended and like it's I've moved on you've moved on I'm not gonna be a bitter bitch like as long as that person is a good person and you've checked them out and they're a decent person okay. they're not gonna molest my kid yeah. or, or and they my know kid. that who the mother is because you have some of these females that come into their lives and they try to act like you want them to treat them as their own but they also got to know their place. There's boundaries. Yeah. Because yeah. you got some women that be like, boundaries. yeah, there's that's boundaries. A, yeah. No, that's true. And that's same, but word. same. same word. Word. You yeah. got to build them on it. Ding, 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 ding. I'm mad that I don't. I got to buy one. I gotta, that's a big word. Like, ooh, boundaries. But that's the whole thing. Your boyfriend isn't coming in to replace the father in that situation yeah. either. So just like you don't want his significant other to replace yeah. you as a mother, you can't let your new man try to replace your kids. Father. So how do you make right. to go back on his word? How do you make how do you how make, do you make the, the new guy comfortable, comfortable right. with maybe doing stuff with the child? You know what I'm saying? When you know maybe the father is not liking the situation, how do you make that person comfortable? Like, yeah, you can right. go ahead and but, well, take him to the park or whatever the case is. But that's where, like I said, the father shouldn't really have a problem if you're productive co-parenting and you're not being bitter and jealous and angry about. It, and this is the per this is why I don't introduce every random person to <laughs> yeah. my child because I don't want to have this conversation sixty four times yeah. with them and my kid. So, all right. So, would you continue dating a man that your kids don't like but you like? That my kids don't? Not? No. Really? If my kids don't? No. It's only going to cause you a more heartache or headache. Like as it's going to. Conflict you. But so what happens after that six months? But there's gotta be a reason. What happens after that six months that you gave him? But there's gotta be like a a good reason. Like if it's like, oh, I don't like him just for like something real stupid, I would try to make it where I can get them to be, you know. I'm about to yeah, say. So what happens? Yeah. If, so what happens if it's flipped? What happens if what happens if your kids like him but you don't? That's what also happens? tricky. That's, that's happened also. Them so early. But what? Well, okay. What? So, like, so, 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 guys do so, play games so, for years. So, 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 guys, so, yeah. so, <laughs> so, so okay, so, so, for like a year and a half. And so, if a guy gets in you, the one relationship I had since my divorce, that's what happened, and I did rush into it. Okay. It wasn't a, it was like, and I kind of got into it a little too early, and he had kids that were my youngest age, and she was very attached, and I knew me like. Very quickly in, my oldest didn't like him at all. And that she was seeing the things that I was still blinded by lust yeah. from seeing. And that was a problem. So she saw those things right off the bat. She's yeah. like, no, I but, don't like him. But her younger sister loved him, worshipped him, loved his children. And at this point, we had made like a little fake family there. Yeah. And so it was very hard right. for me. So, mm -hmm. And I stayed in that relationship months longer than I should have because... I felt so bad doing that to my youngest daughter. Right, so it doesn't have to be rushed. It could still be. A, it could be. A, it could be within that or after that six month thresh, threshold. Mm -hmm. What if? What if somebody, some, somebody, somebody seduces you enough to make you feel good about it for eight months, nine months, a year, and then you finally introduce them to your kids. The kids love them. The kids start asking about them on a daily basis. But then y'all start to realize. That as an adult, there's things that we don't click like. Nah, yeah. yeah, this ain't. You can't make a family this going forward. Yeah. yeah, but your kids is like. Well, I would we hope we love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully, so what even if next? me and you don't work out, then hopefully the kids can still hang out with you. Yeah, like if, if you, you build that relationship, 
why why wouldn't your kids be able to still go hang out with well, you? No, that's, that's, that's that, that should be the way yeah. that works. Once we cut it off, that everything is cut off. <laughs> <laughs> no, in Everything's reality, a go. in that Everything situation, gone. what's going to happen is but, once he meets a new girl with a new family, yeah. he's going to yeah. forget about less it. Less time. Yeah, yeah, less like, time. That's so all it's going to be. You know, that's the way of life. That's, that's why you got to cut it off because you don't even want him to get him her. Right. Her mother, though, is not going to date for years because she's going to feel guilt about that situation. Right. So, why would you not do that shit in the first month? Why would, you wait? Why, would you, <laughs> why would you wait? Why would you wait? Why would you wait? Why would you wait eight again, months to a I year to do that shit? Why not get that shit out the way? I guess it's part of fear. I, Maybe. Huh? I guess it's part of fear. It is fear. Everything is, is fear. A lot of it is that, mm-hmm. like, hello, it's true that there there's a lust stage that comes in when you meet somebody. Everything is all rainbows and unicorns and <laughs> rainbows fluffy and unicorns. stars <laughs> and everything is happy and the flowers are smelling yeah. great. And, you know, and, like... My friends and I have jokes like we ignore every red flag there is because you're mm-hmm. so blinded by lust. Like, so, oh, so what he said that he's murdered three people. He seems right. like a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he had an he still had a big dick. Explanation for everything. It was all a right. He brings me flowers. Yeah. And, you know, he seems really nice. So like, is it? So is it true? <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. He does seem really nice. He makes me smile. Yeah, and it is That's true. Hilarious. That's so you've got to like sit back and be like, wait a minute. So is it true that single mothers are the best friends with benefits? That they're the best friends with them. They make the best friends. No. You gonna ask this is a question for me, right? No. (laughs) Not for them, right? (laughs) It's a question for me before I got married, Nina. Again. (laughs) Is it true that single mothers make the best friends with benefits? In quotations. Friends with benefits. I guess, yeah, because we can keep it moving. Yeah, because we're not going to bother you about stupid shit. We're not yeah. going to fall nah. and be up your <laughs> about ass. About stupid nah. shit. I'm sorry, I got football practice. I don't yeah. care how your day went. I'm not going to sit there. I don't care how your day went. <laughs> yeah. If you're available tonight at 11 p.m., yeah. call me. Like, oh, shit. I don't care don't, about getting uh, text messages all day. Yeah, like, I'm not up in my phone. Y'all don't win the prize with this one. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. So they don't win the prize wait, with no, this wait, one. Wait, no, no, no. Like you got contradic- girls that are like they're contradicting themselves. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. So wait. the answer is yes. Y'all that, do yeah. make the best. Yeah, that's what okay. I said. Yeah, because yeah, we don't got time to be like anything. Because you saying no? No, I didn't say no. I could have sworn I heard no. I apologize. No, I said I probably said no. I said oh, okay. no. I said I, no. I, yeah. I no. no. He's I'm, saying I'm, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. He says no that we're we're not. So your answer is yes. Yes, all day. Single mothers will make the best friends with benefit situation, and you say I agree. You agree? Yeah. And you're saying no. Tell me why. Now no. I got to hear, hear it now. <laughs> the why reason being is because they're women and they get emotional. So even Not though they're woman. single, okay. they're still going to get emotional. The best person or the best situation for friends with benefits is obviously a married woman. Married oh, woman, a married, listen, a married, yeah. listen, she think about it. it up or not. No, 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 no. Think about it. Think about it. What you want as a man, yeah. you want nobody that has no time for nothing except for the sex. She has okay. no time Thanks. except because if you, if you, if you, if you guys are together, if y'all met somehow, if y'all got some connection, then it's about sex most of the time. Okay. So all y'all doing is getting together to have sex. She has no other time to do everything else because she's married. She got kids. She's married. <laughs> single women yeah, have yeah. a lot of time because no, all they do is get the do single, not. single mothers do not. Why, do, why don't you have a lot they of time? Do. Oh my God. Kids. We're constant. From the moment we wake up, we're taking care <laughs> yeah. of somebody else. No, 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 no. But that doesn't. Time. No, no, no. Okay. I get up. I get myself ready. Then I got to get my daughter ready. Then I got to make sure her lunch is ready. I got to make sure my lunch no, is ready. No, okay. But let me. It's not like, oh, I no, get up. I no, get dressed. No, no, I go no, out. No. And then my day You're goes thinking of. Listen. You're thinking of. There's you're, no free moments in my no, life. No, no, it is free moments. It, you have a you have a bunch of free moments. I'm gonna you give you a scenario. You know I have a free moment because I'm paying people right now to watch my kids. Right. Exactly. You know, like that's how I have a free exactly. moment. Not that's even so that. Here. Here's the scenario. And that's why we don't waste our money on just anyone. Here's like, the scenario. You know, I'm paying for somebody to watch my kids. You better be worth my fucking time it, all it's, day. It's been yeah. a year. Yeah. He has put in work. Yeah. I'm giving it to him. Just it's go, been a year. Man, go, man. He has put in work. Your kids love him. You love that his kids love him. Yeah. I mean, you know, his, you know, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, now you're not a okay. friend with no, benefits. No, he's now he's in now. Oh, he's still a friend with benefits because in the back of his mind, he's just playing you. Because see, that's what's wrong. No, 
but you don't know that. But no, listen. But you don't know that. Okay, so now. You don't know that yet. So now. This is why you end up. So moving. now you don't have any. <laughs> wait a minute. So now you don't have any time for this guy. I am now on an oxygen You have all the time the with him. You have all the time for him because all your day is with your kids, and you know that he can hang around your kids now. Yeah. So but that's no longer friends with benefits. If you're hanging out, with he is. He is. is. You, you didn't establish benefits. a relationship. He's a friend with the most benefits. You, wait a minute. Y'all didn't establish he got a the relationship. Most benefits. Exactly. He got the yeah. most benefits. Listen. To me, you're a fuck boy, and oh. you're not coming around my kids. That's a fact, though. No, on some street shit, he is a fuck boy. But in real life, by definition, he's a friend with benefits. That's what a fuck boy is, right? right. It is. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the fuck boys are me and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna give you a little advice. <laughs> fuck, fuck boys will do their whole game for like three or four years. That's That's a, niggas that's can run game for ten years. Kids. Right. And that's because game records. But how is not gonna beat your kids after ten years? Right, because you can't control that. You, you can't, can't control that. Right. I ain't staying with a fuck boy for ten years. You don't know that. Put it like this. You don't know that. I could be. Don't know that. That. I could no, be rosy say, for honestly, two years like, just to get in there. <laughs> I mean, I was married, so we all know that didn't go well. Sure. <laughs> Jamie ain't fuck with no fuck boys. I don't know. She I, met I'm us. She I met us. Had my hey, Jay. Stage, hey, Jay. She my met us. My boys don't meet my kids. No, no, this is good. No, this no. is good. Jay. No, I, no, that's hey, good Jay. that you you no. were able to filter them out like Jamie that. Jamie Sage, she met us. <laughs> she not fucking with no fuck boys for the rest of her life, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, my nigga. I leveled up. She, she <laughs> leveled up, nigga. <laughs> that's what it's called, she right? She ain't fucking with no fuck boys for the rest of her life, nigga. We up, nigga. Well, so we good. Uh, that's why. That's why it's good, and this is probably. But y'all are subject. eating the fruit snacks, so you're still kind of. I'm tearing fruit snacks up, nigga. <laughs> I'm taking all the mixed fruit snacks all day, every day. I think what is uh, this kind of is relevant to re- what we're saying right now. If a woman, I think also, a lot of the times women's put like this. My son is older than my daughter. Right. So my son does a lot of things that my daughter sees that, you know, she doesn't see from nobody else. She sees it from her, her, from him. And it's almost like in a playful way. Okay. Now I've always wanted that. I didn't want it to be reversed because then, you know, my daughter has nobody to learn from. So I think that in a way, sometimes just as you said, you know, hey, you met us, so you 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 know what to do from here on out. Right. If you have that that if you have that mentor in your life, it could be the father, you know, and it was supposed to be the father, the father, the older brother. I think it's easier for a woman, even if she's single, you know, what I'm saying, to make decisions or rational decisions compared to if she didn't have that that guidance. Yeah. No, nah, that's a fact. Oh, that's a big. She fact. didn't have that guidance yeah, because good. they need that. You know, we already know we that women have wild that. stages, yeah, and that. they have wild stages even when they're under the guidance of two parents. You know that's, what I mean? That's yeah. A big fact. But we all know that there is some type of, <clears throat> there is something missing, uh, and it's obvious for people. Some most people who didn't have that guidance of, you know, like the two parents or that stronger have parent or even that father. You know what I mean? Yeah, that father. Yeah, nah, yeah. This, shit is, this shit is real. I wasn't expecting this conversation to be like a two or three part conversation. I thought well, we were... We only did two questions. Right, right. we only got two questions out the way. I thought this conversation was going to be a one and done. You're the leader. You're supposed oh, to tell like us to stay focused, man. I, I was trying to, but y'all were making such valid points I can't allow any. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not how I rock in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't allow any person who's making a valid point in real life to stop. I can't stop you. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. We got to get it done. So, from what I can see, this looks like this is going to be about a three, at least. Part two? A three. No. We're going to be part two and part two. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be at least a three part conversation. No, and that's like cool. It. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good because yeah, no, I'll come back. Yeah, I'll come that's back. Good because that allows us to educate the world. That allows us to have influence where we need to have influence. So I'm grateful. So now this is what we're gonna do real fast because we we over time already. They giving us the cues and shit like <laughs> they got their coats <laughs> on and everything. <laughs> like, all right, nigga. Like, good <laughs> all right. So pros and cons from this conversation. About dating single moms. All right, I'm gonna give you mine. You give me yours. Da da, and so forth. Right? We're gonna go to the right like that. All right, y'all ready? 
pros of dating single moms from Livid the Dreamcatcher. My perspective. The pros are no strings attached. Oh, I like her face. I like the way that. Do that again, Jamie Sage. Do it again. All right, no strings attached. Two snacks. Snacks. (laughs) Damn, you took mine. (laughs) Three doesn't waste any time. They get to it, straight to the point. This is what's going on in my life. Da da da. We ain't got time to play. Let's. You know what I mean? All right. So those are my three pros of dating a single mother. The cons of dating a single mother. For me, I got three. Cons. One, trust issues. That's why they don't want to introduce their kids to the new people. And they don't want to bring people into their lives because they don't feel, they don't have 100% confidence that they can trust men. Or even women, if if you're a lesbian or whatever, you know you, the new people based on your past relationships. From my perspective, this is not a right or wrong thing. This is not a me saying this is what it is. My perspective. All right. Con number two. They have limited time, so you may not be able to. For most men, you may not be able to really invoke or put in your impression on these women. Because they got jobs, they got kids, they got family, they got so many things that they're juggling. You might not be able to get in close enough to really affect their emotions. Three, drama. (laughs) The baby daddies. (laughs) That's what it is. Nobody, me as a man, especially as a black man, you as a black man, you as a black man, I don't want to deal with no drama, period. But most single mothers have a little bit of drama, just a little bit. And I know that I'm a wide thinker. I know that for myself. So I know that most men don't think the way that I think when it comes to life and stuff like that. So I deal with females who their child's fathers are not as compromising as me and not as understanding as me. And it makes the situation more difficult. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why are you bringing this nigga around? Like, nigga? Because I want to fucking date your fucking baby mama, nigga. That's why. <laughs> what do you mean, why is my why, why I fuck around, nigga? Because I want to be around, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I have to prove myself to you Yeah. instead of her? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's, so, a, that's across any, like, that's a... <clears throat> A flaw with that person and not necessarily just because she's a single mother right. facts absolutely 100 percent. that's that's, that's a that's, that's, that's a general that yeah. insecure person that has control issues right it's a it's a general thing mm-hmm. but that's one of the cons that i see as to dating single mothers all right those are my three jamie sage what do you have the pros and the cons three. Of dating, I know, you know, I took pro- all of them. Right? I, I, the pros I got, no, I got nobody got notes. I be telling y'all, about to come with notes. That's because details. you get to go first. If I get to go first, I get the good <laughs> shit too. I go last. I got the bottom you know, of the I barrel. Need notes on something that I've been living for twenty years. Like, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. Baby. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, here. What you got? What you got? Um, well, obviously, we're caring and nurturing, so we we take care oh. of you better than anybody else will. Oh. I ain't mad at that shit. So that's a pro. And, yeah, and a pro. I'll give you the con. You see, how, that, you see what she did in Maryland. Uh, the con is She took that, care of us in Maryland, boy. The con is that. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> she took care of us the in Maryland. She took care of some of us. <laughs> you were asleep. No, 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 no. Not that. I'm talking about with the wife thing. The wife oh, that too. No, no. She, 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 she did. She did her job. Tasking. She took care yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah, for real. Hell yeah. Um. The cons are, yeah, that we don't have a lot of time. So, right. you know, respect that if you're, you're dating a single mom, that if she's giving up her time for you, that oh, brother. you should feel special. Oh, you know? brother. Because now, that's real, man. That's real that's, shit, man. That's real shit. <laughs> that's real shit. That's it? That's all you got? Those two? 
I don't want to steal you, all of You them. basically, oh, okay. and you yeah, basically and you said them all. Yeah, you took all yeah. of them. Why y'all ain't got notes? I don't have this snacks, shit. Snacks, obviously. That's <laughs> the best food. Yeah, yeah. we go. The snacks is going to be fun to everybody. Snacks yeah. is good yeah. cool. shit. There's juice and soda, and yeah. I'm just yes, tap water exactly. for you. Yes, exactly. You all know, right. if you say, like, hey, can I get something to eat? Like, you know, I'm more snacks. likely yeah. going to actually feed yeah. you and not snacks. like I'm with a bag of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> with the depends on how old a single woman is. Yes. You either get juicy juice or you get oh, some real juice. Real <laughs> so you got to be careful about that one. No, I want no juicy juice. Real shit that can help me. Too. <laughs> All right, what you got, Miss, Miss Melissa Good? What you I got? would agree. The main one is nurturing and caring. I would agree with Sage about that. That's and a pro. That's a pro. Okay. The, um, another pro is we know what we want. Mm. We don't have time to waste around. It's like we we know we tell you what it is and what it's going to be. That right? part. No playing Honesty, games. Honesty, communication. Yeah. yeah. A con, the, point. the biggest one is time. That's the uh, biggest problem. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. y'all don't have much of it. And when we do, like she said, that means, you know, consider yourself special. Yeah, please don't be wasting it. Yeah. <laughs> don't waste the my fucking time. The after effects on us are much worse. Don't waste yeah. my fucking time. Yeah. I got shit to do. Make it enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. make, it, yeah. make it worth it, right? Yeah. That's why we're praying that y'all are being real about yourself and are not just there for the fruit snacks. That's yes. Fact. I'm being real so y'all know. All right? Jay, what you got? Pros and cons of dating a single mom. Uh, The pros of dating a single woman... No, not a single woman. Oh. A single mom. Oh, single mom. Single mom. That's right. Single yeah. mom. Okay, so, like I said, like you said, the snacks. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Lunchables. Um, fucking Welch's. Well, no, <laughs> mixed fruits. The, 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 yeah, the pros is, along the piggyback on that, is that the single moms, most of the single moms can cook because they've had to practice and practice you. and practice right. compared to... Just a single woman who was just probably eating out most of the time. That part. Right. So right. yeah, I would say the cooking part of that is a pro. That's a good pro. Um, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. The, I will take that uh, pro. A pro is that she is. <laughs> what she say? I said we literally have benefits. Like that we are part. the friends with benefits. They got that. In addition well, to well, the wait, sex wait, wait till you hear the rest of my stuff. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, don't fuck no, up. No, another pro. Hey, another pro is that fun. she is. Uh, I'm be romantic at this point. Okay. Another go. pro is that she's emotionally available most of the time because she's. You know, maybe she thinks she has a lot on her plate. But ultimately, she wants somebody love. to yep. love. They want love. So she's available. That's Sometimes, true. you know, because she chose you, you know, hey, I'm, I'm looking for some love. She's not going to tell you, but just for her, you know, just kind of showing you a couple of things. So she's Good available job. emotionally. Good job. They, want, they do want love. They do. Well, they do want love. They should. Um, you're, you're supposed to. You should well, everybody. Yeah, love. yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody wants All right. it. Um, another pro about a single mom. Jeez. You know, oh, another pro about a single mom is, uh, single moms, like my mother and you said your moms and I don't know whoever moms is in here is like, like you said that they're like the strongest women because when I was younger, I, if I, I couldn't, first of all, I couldn't go to school, have a kid have a job mm. and have no car and mm. have to like get on a bus so a single woman has to go take her kid on a bus to the babysitter get hey. back on a bus go to work go to work get back on a bus go, go to the babysitter up. get back hey. then come home and have to do a fucking school work that's just real dudes would never ever do that if and a then, dude had a kid he would break down because he could never do all that what, and then he could multitask all done. that you know that you we're not done. the yes. desperate, nah, like, absolutely. damsel in distress kind of. Because we know as mothers, we, they, if there's nobody else there, you got to pick up and do it. it. So whatever it is. And then we ask them to do shit like swallow and take it in the ass. Well, <laughs> on top of that. <laughs> as if we... No, let's, they, no, they let's keep that. it 100. <laughs> let's, keep it a, let's keep it 100. We ask, them to, we ask them to take care of the kids. Uh, uh, we yeah. ask them to keep the crib clean. We asked them to not be, necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay, we not them, necessarily. Okay, we asked them. We, asked we them have to, be, to have. We asked them to be productive. No, but that we don't want them to be. A single mom is going uh, to have facts. done all of these oh, okay, things okay, yeah. by right. herself. Right. And like, well, well, that's a quality because if I walk in your house and your house is not, if your house is fucked up, that's I'm what gonna, I'm saying. I'm not gonna think of you ain't got time and think of it. That's just that's the person you are. And you're gonna judge them a certain way, right? And you're 
and you're going to judge them a certain way, right? Yeah, I'm going to still so, smash, so, but I'm going to leave it. Right. <laughs> but but you're, not, you're not thinking about no future shit. No, nah, no, nah, no. Exactly. Nah. So we expect them long term, if we're thinking about a quality of a woman, we're going to expect them to take care of their kids, yeah. earn some money, yeah. keep the crib clean, yeah. provide for their man, do all of that shit. And they look good. And so you could look some good. Ass. Take it in the ass. Swallow all that extra shit, right? Yeah, yeah. But that last stuff is yeah. like, that's like options when you buy a Ferrari. Nah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm take, just saying they're, they're using laying there. I'm they just, just saying. not really doing too much. Oh, what? Uh, now uh, we uh, know uh, Nina's what? gonna come what? for you <laughs> for that comment. Go on, bro. This is, this is a different conversation, bro. but. Yeah. They're usually just laying there. Oh, but, all right, let me finish. Let me finish. So those are my pros. I, but all I just right, gave you cons, a little I just say you're the strongest, right. strongest. So cons. the cons is that you guys keep saying that you have a bunch of time. Mm-hmm. I mean, that you have no time. Mm-hmm. But the con is that y'all lie about your time. How many times you went no, to a, 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 a single woman? Yo, what you doing? I, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I couldn't call you back. I'm busy. I'm busy. Well, what exactly are you doing? Right. Well, my girl asked me to take her to Wendy's, and then I guess I'm going to go visit Auntie. That's not doing shit. That's shit that you chose to do. Right. You don't have to do that shit. Right. So you're not busy. Right. Busy is my job asked me to come in for eight hours today. That's busy. Right. But busy is not you chose to go over your aunt's house in Maryland. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not being busy. Right. So when I ask you what you're doing... I'm busy. What what exactly are you doing is being busy? Well, I gotta um I gotta do this, I got that's not being busy. So a lot of the times y'all have a lot of the time you have a lot of time, I but think. y'all lie about like what y'all doing because y'all think y'all wanna make y'all wanna shit make yourself up. seem yeah, busy. Y'all wanna make you wanna yourself seem like, like you're busy. You're not really doing shit. But some people I do get that there. like intentionally just yeah. to kind of blow people off too. Yeah. Like, like that's true too. you know, you call me, Oh, I'm really busy right now, I'm running here, I'm running there and like really I'm sitting at home watching housewives, but I just don't wanna waste my time right well, now. Well no, but like, no, what I'm saying is not not even not even that. I'm talking about like when you with somebody and you know, what are you doing today? Well, I'm doing these five things, but those five things is something that you, you know, chose you to chose do. to do. You know what I mean? So that's one of the things. Um, um, so we all got. I like those. That's good. Listen, this shit is about to be an issue. I hope everybody's available in the next couple of weeks to come I back. Finish my con. Am I, is that it? Oh, we got to cut it. Oh, you got one more. How many more? You got how many oh, more? No, the last one is that was that, three. I thought yeah. that was three. That was, was that no, two or three? Yeah, oh no, go ahead. No, 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 no. This is the last one. The last one right, is that. I'm sorry. I thought that was three. I apologize. I apologize. Like. Married women are better friends with benefits than single women. That's it. Ooh. That's Y'all. a whole different conversation. Ooh. No, we that's, the do. that's the that's con. That's the con. Episode that's five. That's no, that's the con. Should you fuck me? That is no, that's the con. Conversation. That's no, but that's the con. That is that you, kind of a different conversation. That you're not. You know, you're not. A, you're not. You're not. Um, you're 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 not. You're, you're too available. You're too available for me. You, no, you just wait. said you wanted us you emotion that we are you're emotionally too available. available. You know, you too. And now it's a con. No, you're too available like, because then you know you're calling me up. Let's go to Riverside. Let's go to do this. Oh, let's who go to are do these this. women with children that got to? So you saying I'm like talking about years ago? So you saying you want a friend with benefit that don't really have the time to be a friend with benefits? You want a friend with but benefits? But see, yeah, like that, for us, we look at. It I don't even think that's a friend. That's just something. Yeah, that's like that's a fuck buddy. You want a fuck buddy? But what's a friend with benefits? A friend with benefits. Yeah, someone that you could chill with once in a while, like hang out. Yeah, and also like y'all get to know each other, from. but y'all still enjoy each yeah. other sexually. Dudes like don't that. have friend with benefits. That's a then. fucking lie. Yeah. I you I have, have a, you have oh, I, 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 I have, have several. I've never had this. This is a special story. Yeah, I, have, I have several friends with benefits. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. I I I friends didn't have benefits. friends with benefits. I just Wait, so you think, I wanted to so fuck. Like, and that was it. I so didn't want to be a friend. I just wanted to fuck. I don't have. <laughs> Maybe that's a different conversation. Like, do men have women friends? Because we don't. <laughs> next week on Sexual oh, Norms. Yeah. Nah, that's Try cool. Nah, I got next week. Nah, I got hand. Go. Yeah, that, nah, that's that's uh, uh, yeah. Yes, what what friends with benefits? Yes, that's what I. Yes, what what? You don't want friends with benefits? What the fuck? All right. Jay doesn't want to be that friends. Was good. No, he that just was wants good. to benefit. <laughs> well, he's married. He's married, so that's a different no, he's situation. He's talking about prior. Yeah, prior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you didn't, didn't have friends with to... benefits before you got married? No, I, I, yeah, I wasn't friends with him. Yeah, I wasn't with friends with him. Oh, you I wasn't... just cold blooded, nigga. No, I would call you him. The only like... time I call him is the fuck. I wouldn't call him and be like, yo, let's go out to no, eat. No, listen. And we don't fuck that night? Hell 
Hell no. Hey, the world. I look. never went out to eat with a friend that we never fucked. What made you hit this, me up? <laughs> this is what happens. No, this exactly, is why. Exactly, right? This is, this, this, is, this, this is why. Because Jay is a light-skinned nigga with a big dick. <laughs> That's why. I'm Jay, not is a, no Jay is more, a light skinned nigga I'm not light skin with a big no more, dick. Man. No, he fits in the category with Drake and them niggas. Light Ooh. skin, light skin niggas with big dicks are different than regular niggas. I ain't mad at you. I'm Carmel. No. That nigga's light skin. <laughs> that Drake hey, is light skin. Jay is a light skin nigga. That's why he can feel like I got plenty of friends with benefits. No, I You're prefer. To be I pre- this, up. this this is how you this, go on about Jay. We like you this is why this is like, I, 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 this is how I prefer to, to build my relationships in my life, friends with benefits, and then as we're growing as friends, we learn what's the rest of the stuff. We learn, all right, if this means this this is important to you in life. We're like we're friends, right? All yeah. of us are friends. Yeah, yeah. This is important to you, this is important to me. This is important to you, this is important to me. That's important to you, eh, not so important to me. So, like, we build like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, yeah, okay, we got a sexual attraction. Physically, we're attracted to each other. And even somewhat mentally, we're attracted to each other. So those friends with benefits are basically friends that have potential, basically. Yeah, until we find out that, okay, this means a lot to you, but it don't really mean that much to me. So, that's... Got but it. up until then, we still good. Like, okay, we did what we needed to do until then, but we got to a point where it's like, that means a lot to you. You know that means a lot to you, but it don't mean shit to me. So now we got to figure out what we're going to do with our friendship. We're still friends because we went from here to here. We're still friends. You know what I'm saying? But I usually don't work out for a good. Okay, this is no mean? longer about dating such Shut single mom. <laughs> <laughs> Again, all right. we're doing episode so, seven now. Yeah, we're doing that. We, we all the way. All right, so hey. All right, so thank you. We we, we are over, like we over time. All right, so Billy, I apologize, man. All right, so um, today, 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 y'all. Today is episode ten. Today is a milestone for us. Um, I'm I wanted to have gifts, but we got. I don't have gifts. We got shit. I wanted to have gifts because because. We go to a different place after today. After today, we we, we, we we do different things. All right? So I'm grateful for everybody who's been a part of it up until now. Uh, this is episode 10. You've been here before. You've been here before. Thank you all for being here today. Absolutely. And making it happen because if it wasn't for y'all too, it would have been me and Jamie having a conversation about Single moms and we were <laughs> you know it was just an argument back and forth, right? <laughs> so thank y'all very much. Absolutely, um, man. I, Thanks for having me, man. I'm, I'm, I promise you, I'm a man of my word. I promise you that I will show my appreciation to both of y'all. All right. So I worry about it, man. For another episode of Kill Talk Radio, Sex, Love, and Hip Hop: The Conversation, I am Living the Dream Catcher. For Jamie Sage, Melissa Good, and my man Jay, owner of Thick City, we are very grateful for y'all tuning in. And um, this is going to be at least two more conversations about this. Yeah, it gets, it gets hot. It we're going to get hot. we're going to get into the dating single father thing too, because somebody said that too. Why don't you do sing, dating single fathers? Yeah, she we said that. Do that Why don't you date? Can we do find it? some out there? Yeah. Like, <laughs> have like a hundred percent like custody of the kids. Yeah, like, I actually know a lot of them, and that's so, sad that it's such a stereotype that you're. Are they black? By that. Are they black? Definitely yes. not black. Um, are yes. they? They're mixed. Wow. Yes. They're light skin. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> light skin. They're light skin. All right, so tune in. Um, stay tuned. Next week we got sexual, sexual norms. norms. That's going to be a very good conversation. We got Marcus Mint coming back in the building. The Deuce will be back as well. It's going to be a very interesting conversation. Jamie Sage is going to be the only female on the couch by herself. A gang bang. But this is a gang it's bang. It's a gang bang. <laughs> but she holds herself so fucking well, man. She does her thing. She got her dupes up all the time. All right. So thank you all again. Um, man, let's do it. Let's keep the conversation going, man. Uh, join the Facebook group. Kill Talk Radio presents Sex, Love, and Hip Hop on Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Kill Love Media Group. We are official. Um, 
Fuck the like button. I don't give a fuck about the like button. The like button don't mean shit. That just means that you was lazy in the moment. I need you to share shit. Share it. Share it on your regular page. Share it on all your other social media, your Instagram, your Twitters, your Pinterest, all that extra shit. Share it. Fuck liking it. I don't give a fuck about no likes. We got to grow. All right? Until next week. Thank you again. We appreciate you. Don't just do it. Kill it. You did. We out. Cause I'm something like a G, baby, me, baby And I guarantee I'm the realest you see, baby I give you all of me, baby, I promise that All I need is an open mind, you copy that? It's nothing to explore when we loving My love goes just as deep as when I'm fucking My love you just can't beat, it keeps going